With his trademark Greek fisherman's cap along for the ride, Paul Rupert has been ahead of the art game for over a half century. I started in the seventh grade. This is actually a true story. I fell in love with my art teacher. She became my best friend. In the ninth grade, she married the phys ed teacher, and it broke my heart. But it sure didn't break his spirit for the arts. And thanks in part to her early influence, Paul went on to develop quite an impressive style. I'm not a naturalist. I don't, uh, I don't like things precise. So I think uh, more toward the impressionist. Uh, I think I'm more oriented toward uh, rural scenes than portraits, although I like to do portraits. But that's something you have to keep after all the time in order to to be good at, you have to do a lot of it. Now what Paul does a lot of is pay attention to the contrast of the work. He says he's a colorist, and he'll use pastels, watercolors, acrylics, and sometimes oils to paint a clear message. I'd like to, to think that I'm rather sensitive to the area, uh, and I'd like to portray that as a, as a good, clean place to live, and not too busy, not slow paced, but maybe uh, happy pace. And look for that happy pace to keep stroking along because this painter gets quite a personal satisfaction out of the creation. A lot of times when I finish these paintings uh, I, I can't believe that I did it. You know, God has to be in it. He has to be working through me. That's all there is to it. I appreciate the, the talent that he's given me and I love to paint. In Cable Country, Tim Cable, Eyewitness News 11, Johnson City.